morning everyone. Once again here from the beautiful Bangkok. It is 4.30 a.m. I just called a cab to take me to Kuala Lumpur train station. That is the main train station here in Bangkok. And then from there I'm taking a train, a four and a half or five and a half hour train to the nearest border post that takes me to Siem Reap. I don't think it's first class, I think it's third class, but I'm excited. I love the adventure. Bangkok's been real. I loved every minute of it. It is 4.45 and uh, I thought let me rather come early in case there are any complications with tickets. Bangkok I will see you in a bit we are still going very slowly and I hope that we pick up speed as we go along there are 47 stops to get to Bangkok look all right we're motoring now much faster we just stopped at our first station. Uh, it's on the other side, the entrance. I'd like to coming around to check the tickets. So I am on the right train. <laughs> Check this out. There's not even a platform at this station. Or maybe the platform's on the other side and people are just opting to get in on this side. <laughs> no, it's not. The other side's flat as well. So I think from time to time, um, these vendors jump onto the train and then they sell some of their items. Stations in. 
should be about halfway. There's also nice things, but it's not things that I'm familiar with, and uh, I didn't want to take a chance and eat them. Oh, there's a lady of bananas. I didn't see that. Another one. Wow, well, man, had I known. These guys actually I haven't eaten anything other than that peanut cluster and water. So I'm really gonna have to get to a uh, convenience store soon. Hey guys, so we made it to Bang Tong Luke border station and uh, guys I gotta hand it to them. Efficiency is next level. We are here right smack bang on time. 17 minutes after 11 o'clock. So now I just gotta find the um, immigration office or the border post and then we're on our way. Not exactly sure where I'm going but I'm just following the exit and I'm hoping that I'll see some signs somewhere. Alright, here it is guys. Right outside the exit. Passport control. Departure. So that's where we're going. Just remember opposite this super save uh, super rich. That's where we're at. Let's go. That was pretty easy. No questions asked, pretty much just uh, stamping a passport and taking your fingerprints. And now I've got to go to the Cambodia border post. And that is this way. You can see everybody's going the same way. Foreigner passport, turn right, first floor. Okay, that's where we're going to go. I've just passed through immigration and passport control. For Cambodia and that went through quite seamless as well so the first thing you got to do is to complete an immigration card uh, they will hand that to you as you enter the office and then once you've done that you got to then go and pay for your tourist visa obviously depending on whether you need the visa or not so in my case I come from South Africa and I do need the tourist visa so that's $30 and then once you pay for that, you then stand in the queue to go through passport control and where they will then stamp your passport and also take your fingerprints. So that was it guys, that was the process. We are now in Cambodia. And so as you exit the immigration office, you will be flooded by uh, these taxi drivers and motorbikes wanting to give you a lift to Siem Reap. As you can see, these uh, this tour group came prepared. They, they've got their own bus. Alrighty. I'm not on the same wavelength as them, obviously. Uh, but so, guys, so I've heard that there's many scams running out here. I'm not sure what the scams are. I don't know if they overcharge people or what the deal is. But they are relentless they just won't give up but then i've also heard that you can just walk all the way up the street and you will get to an area where there's buses taking you to see them reap and uh, that's generally the uh, the most effective way to do it uh, i didn't have to walk very far um, so the gentleman just called me and he gave me the price and he takes me all the way to see him. Uh, we're just, down street. We're just waiting on six more people and then we're gonna go. Alright. My name is Jim. Jim from which travel? Um Coco Travel. Coco Travel. Yes sir. Okay, so uh Jim yes, is giving me a ride to Siem Reap with yes, the bus. Yes. Um sometimes I look for for you also the price is 
Oh, for the two as well. Yeah. Okay, but but we're just gonna go to same reap right same now. Same reap like a something pole. I don't want you wait yeah. for a long time. Okay. If someone come first, I'll send you first my cap. Okay, and I have band also. Okay. And okay. big bus, yes. So we're paying seven dollar for the uh, plus hundred baht. Yeah. Plus uh, plus hundred yeah. baht too. Yeah. yeah, it was actually nine uh, nine, nine dollar, dollars, but yeah. uh, now I have no dollars on me because they took thirty three dollars at the uh, immigration office, and the the sign clearly shows that it's thirty dollars. So obviously, uh, yeah, it's thirty three. Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. All right. This is my ride. Okay. Let's go. 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 Where's the other people? No, we have people already. Hmm? So Alright, so I just paid seven dollars. Well, it's effectively nine dollars that I paid. Ten dollars. Where are you from, sir? Uh, from Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, okay. Where are you from? Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> Same Reap or from here? Uh, Same Reap. Same Reap, okay. Nice. We are now in Poi Pit. It's called Poi Pit, right? Poi Pit. Yeah, now tomorrow. No, what is this? What is it called? This area? Yeah, now this area. This is Poipit? Yeah, right now in the city Poipit. Okay, so uh, we're in Poipit right now, so we're gonna take um, the road to Siem Reap. That's about two and a half hours to Siem Reap. Alrighty, we're just gonna pick up two more people. And then we're off. in Siem Reap. Alright guys, so it was about three hours, uh, give or take, just about a three hour drive. And so the um, the driver just dropped me at a random place in Siem Reap, not even close to Pub Street. And normally what they do is they drop you close to Pub Street. Because they had actually told me that they would drop me at Pub Street. And my hotel is about 500 500 meters from Pub Street. Well, the next thing I had to do was to get data because obviously the, the, the eSIM that I had worked for um, Thailand only. And so I uh, needed to get a SIM card. So I went to one of these places now and the first guy charged me $5 for seven days. And the second one I went to charge me three, three dollars fifty for fifteen gigabytes, and that's also for seven days. So when they dropped me, I had no idea where to go because I had no data and, I, and Google Maps wouldn't work. And this guy wouldn't take me anywhere else, and he just said, uh, "That's it for him. He drops me, uh, and and he has to leave to go somewhere else." And then uh, we had a bit of a altercation we had a bit of words with each other but anyway guys i'm not gonna let anything spoil my uh, stay here in siem reap that is what it is i've been warned about these things but you know uh, these things happen Two hundred and three, two hundred and thirty meters to go to my hotel. So right now, I just want to get to the hotel, check in, and then I want to grab a bite. In fact, maybe first just take a shower just to freshen up, grab a bite, um, and then I want to explore the city a little uh, later. That will probably be, but it's now after four. Uh, I reckon I'd be done by six o'clock with all of those, and then maybe I don't know if it gets dark at that time. But I want to check out the vibe because I already seen the vibe in this place even during the day. So looking forward to that. Uh, tropical breeze, yeah. This is my spot. Hello, tropical breeze. Thank you. Okay. We have a bar area, nice, and then we have a pool, very nice. Hurry. 
right, let me just give you a tour of the room before I mess it up. So as you can see, there are, it's a twin double room, double bed. So I can take my pick, obviously, and uh, I have sort of desk space. Let's just put my bags down. And then we have some closet space. All right, nice glass window so you can see what you can wear. And the bathroom is, all right, so it's like a, like the only one vibes with a toilet and the shower. There's that little space in there and the wash basin. Awesome, all right guys, not too bad. And there's AC as well and there's fan. And so guys, for this uh, hotel I'm paying roughly $11 per night. That is not too bad. Okay, you've seen the inside guys, let me just show you the outside. Here's a little balcony area. I guess that's just to go and chill out here. Alright, let's try out. And that was the entrance as we came in. That's the pool. We're gonna take a look later. Doesn't look too clean or too clear. But I think it will do. It's the area I'm staying in. There's also bike rentals. And there's also uh, the bus or the van ride to Phnom Penh, which I probably will use in a day or two. 